Chat TV. I am again in Kampala in a hot place. We've got the pool behind us. I'm not going to take off my shirt because I don't want my six pack to be showing. There's some hot girls looking at me. I don't want them running over me and rubbing me. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'm, I'm going to be speaking to a funny guy this time around. A funny guy is called Dolbondo. Dolbondo. I hope I pronounced it right. It's called Dolbondo. For those that who don't know, Dolobon is one of the funniest comedians in Uganda, Kampala, right now. He's talking about on TV. We cannot wait. For those that don't know, check out those few clips, enjoy, and we shall see you in a minute. My other comedians, we face a lot of problems, I'm telling you. And she thinks you're joking. You're joking. You're joking. You didn't even take her to your place, no gamune, in this city, yes? You still have to get to now. You play the other part where you are going to get I think that kid was mature. When the Musoka looks at you, Musoka never will have today. Even after 20 years, I will have to get to the West Zimmerman. Even after 20 years, he will tell it's you. Baby, I'm sorry, Megadi. Now, when Megadi was singing initially, because he had a squinted eyes. I say, eh, I say, no yen ni ni. Katuwa kuwe kumwa no wa ifo wa no wa ni ni. Bamo eta jeno. Mega D, did you play me a song for Mega D? Mwagul. Yeah, but you got Mega D here. Now, you play a lie in a chi. Eh, Dali. Play the song, DJ. Welcome, Dolbondo. Yeah, thank you, thank you. What's happening? What's happening? Nothing good. Now, at this uh, moment, yeah. Before we begin, we need to test his skills live. Yeah. This guy is funny. We talk about jokes yet. Give us something funny so we can see if we can actually laugh. Oh, being funny depends on where you are. Now, some people are watching on their phones. Others are watching on a. Uh, on uh, their computers, others don't have enough data. So when we start cracking a joke, so some people might not end up getting it. No, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. Just so you want me, me to do me. a joke for you or, or, or for the Pal Chat TV no, no, no. viewers? I want to laugh. Great, great, great. You move on. Put him on the spot now. He's sweating. Look, he's sweating already. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where to start from, but. Uh, what what? <laughs> I guess I'm funny. I know, I, I know I'm funny. You don't need to. I don't need to do it here. You just go on my YouTube channel, Dolibondo and Stressor. You'll find it. Find all the clips. I'm yeah. funny. That's it. Okay, Dolibondo. Yeah. Now you have shied away from giving us a joke. Not really yeah. shying away. This, no, no, this guy <laughs> shied away from giving right. us a joke. Yeah. Mm. So since you shied away from giving you a joke, yeah. Let me give you a joke. Yeah. Okay. Now if you f if my joke is not funny, mm. don't laugh. Yeah, if it's funny, laugh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, why did the um, why did the orange stop in the middle of the road? Because it had come to an end. <laughs> no, because <laughs> it ran out of juice. <laughs> killer one, killer one. <laughs> it's a okay. good joke. Okay, don't worry, yeah. don't worry. Okay, mm. don't use my joke, please. Uh, I don't know. I won't use it. Okay. Copyright. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, don't wonder now. How long mm. have you been doing comedy? I've been doing comedy for the past seven years. Yeah. Yeah. So, wh you know, what made you get, get into it? Uh, what made me get into it, uh, growing up as a child, I really wanted to have attention. I really loved having attention. I really loved to do something that people will recognize me. Mm. I wanted to do something that people will like. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I, I wanted uh, to be a musician, but I realized that uh, my strength was more in comedy uh, yeah. than just uh, music. So I dropped the music because I knew it was not my strength. Yeah. And, I, and I went with wha where I felt was, I was stronger, was not where I felt I wanted. Okay, you said you're saying music. Yes. Okay, okay, interesting. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what kind of music? You know, what kind of music? I wanted to be a rapper. You know, be a rugby, a wag, wine, uh, I wanted to be a rapper <laughs> like Eminem. Huh? Yeah, I like Eminem. Uh, I really wanted a, to give us a style. Give us a freestyle. A freestyle. Yeah. Yo, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's forgetting. He's nervous, but on surface looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting. Very bad boy. <laughs> 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 
Respect, very bad boy. Respect, Red boy. Respect, yeah. Respect. All right. So in your um, seven years of comedy, yeah, what's been the highlight? Uh, the highlight was in because uh, uh, we started in about 2009. Mm. The highlight was in 2012. You're saying we. Yeah. So who's oh, we? As in. Oh, you start. Where, when when I talk about we, yeah. I mean me and the team that really put comedy onto an, another level. Because mm. initially comedy in Uganda was about clowning. Yeah, so being professional, started uh, doing st professional stand-up comedy. Uh, I started in two thousand and nine. So when I say we, I mean with the other team, because uh, other, uh, other, other comedians, yes, other comedians that mm -hmm. uh, that uh, shifted comedy from being clowning comedy to stand-up comedy, making it to that standard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, comedy in two thousand twelve. That's when I hit the peak. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, actually, when I hit the peak, my problem was I always thought about what will happen next. Yeah. How am I going to sustain myself? So I, because I, 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 I know what it takes to be relevant in the ma ma or market, mm. I decided to be relevant to the or market. Yeah. Even when I don't perform, my name is still out there. Yeah. Even when I don't perform, I find a way that people talk about me. Mm. And that's what I'm doing right now to sustain it. Okay, as a comedian, do you feel that like the Ugandan comedy scene is vibrant? On Tbagamanti comedy, yeah, Uganda, well, more comedy in Gabon, yeah, but Tana, you know, is it is it being sucked up by very few people, or it's vibe? There's always new talent coming. Uh, I should say it's been sucked out by few people. Why? You look at even the new blood that comes in. Uh, most of these guys mm. are are copying from the old guys. If you looked at comedy with the new boys on the block, mm. trust me, everyone you'll see, you'll be seeing some old guy somewhere. Mm. Yeah? There are those people that come in the picture of Amot. A guy will come and do jokes. The way he delivers them is the same way Amot does it. Mm. There are those people who will come and do comedy the same way Doribondo does it. So I think um, it's, not, uh, it's not competitive. As in... As in uh, People have not, uh, the new blood has not tried out to do something good for themselves. Mm. They're trying to ride on other people's, uh, yes. exactly. Yeah. Right, as mm. a comedian, um, yes. um, do, do, do you feel like there's a future? Why do we send more comedies? Um, all we need to do is, uh, is uh, strategize ourselves. Mm. There, are, there are many opportunities of making money in comedy, but how do you go about it? It's not a, uh, entertainment is not about pa performing alone. Mm. I'll give you an example. P D D, P D D has a, a radio. Uh, uh, sorry, has a TV station. Mm. Yeah, uh, the TV is called uh, Revolt TV. He has shares in Sorok. Mm. He has uh, Water. It's not about performing, and this is what most of the comedians think about. Mm. They think it's about me performing well, and someone calls me. Come and do this gig. Come and do this gig. No, that's not how you make money. So you're, you're of the at entertainment, the point exactly. Point like on the business perspective of it, how do I make money out of this? Mm. For instance, I have a project. I have a show called uh, Camp Comedy. Mm. We get comedians. We go to the wild. We have a show. We have a stage. Mm. After performing on stage, we put up campfires. Mm. Comedians um, uh, gather around campfires with uh, we, 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 with the fans different campfires, have comedians entertain people on the campfires. Those who are tired, they go to their beds and sleep. Mm. They are games people are having. So basically, now, f uh, for a person l like me, I look at that show one day being big. Mm. I'm looking at that show taking on Africa. Yeah. yeah. So now, if you think you are going to wait until someone calls you to go and perform, that is wrong. That's not how you make money in the entertainment so, industry. So you basically have to sort of get yourself off your behind. And exactly. Think outside the box or think in the corner of the box. Because everyone is, is looking in the middle of the box. Mm. You either think in the, in the corner of the box or outside the box. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now there's one thing I'm, I'm wondering. Yes. Ugandan comedians. Chichi, but now Ugandan comedians. Chichi. Watch There's clothes for women. What, almost every comedian is wearing a short skirt, be mini, be chibi, chibi. Is that like a new craze? Uh, the thing is, at times people. I, I it's an act, but you know, but it's like you know. The thing is, um, when you when you go, some people 
don't take off time to know to look at their sword. Mm. They don't take time to say that this is my strength, this is my weakness. When I get an opportunity, this is how I, you, I use it. Mm. This is a threat to me. They don't know how they. Some people don't give it time. Me, me. I'll give you an example. If I'm on stage and I get a, a heckler in the audience, mm. if I don't have the right words to shut you down, mm. I'll raise my voice. Mm. You can't compete with me when I'm on the microphone. Mm. You don't have a mic. I have a mic. So you're gonna You'll try as, my, as much as, you, as possible to shout, yeah. and I'll try as much as possible to shout, yeah. and you will be shut down. Yeah? yeah okay. If I have a word to hit you back, mm. I'll do that. Now some people, they don't take time to know when can they do what. Mm. Yes, dressing up in a skirt might be funny, but to what extent? Mm. Plan for it. You put on a dress, come to stage, have material about women putting on skirts. Have material about if I was a woman and I put on this skirt. Or what you think women go through in a funny way. But not just dressing it up, come sing a song of a woman, and then you start other jokes. It doesn't add up. Because mm. if you are a man, you are, not meant, you are not supposed to dress like a woman. So when you dress like a woman, come with material that will entertain people through what you're putting on. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that Mm. It's okay to dress as a woman, but as long be as relevant. Be relevant to, to, to your, your dress act, code. To your act, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but I, I've got to say, a lot of the comedians I've seen, it's like, it's like something you have to do if you're a comedian. I uh, don't know. Maybe Kwanga Zembalavi, other guys are making music videos and skirts. Not, uh, not now we're condemning them, but we're just saying, what is this, uh, this craze of wearing The other clothes? thing is, uh, people don't, some people don't know they don't understand that every time you perform in a different place, mm. that's a different audience. They have different things they enjoy. Yeah, some people will. Uh, some people will enjoy. I'll give you an example. There was uh, a certain bar I went to on Entebbe Road, and uh, when I tried to to diss a musician, they got it wrong. They were too personal. They were so personal. You understand? Yet other people, you will diss a, a, a musician and they'll feel happy. Mm. Others, actually I was not dissing, I was, uh, I was uh, criticizing. Mm. As in, you look out for some element, criticize it, then you find an element that is funny yeah. and they took it the negative way. Mm. Yeah? But I played with them, I, I used my techniques, played with them, and they ended up not, not even throwing bottles at me on stage <laughs> yeah. so some people yeah. they don't know when to do it yes you'll go to a certain audience which does not even understand jokes mm. all you have to do is be vulgar other 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 places you'll go when they'll they'll feel happy they'll be happy when you put on skirts mm. so i think it's better you understand the audience before presenting whatever you have to to present to them comedians are looking for money what do I mean? You'll, be, you'll perform at La Laughters today. Next day you're going to, to La Bonita. That day you're going to National Theatre. The other day you have a gig somewhere. Now, be, why, why am I saying we are disorganized? I'll come to Laughters and perform. They call me to La Bonita. Mm. Then I don't, I don't know what... I don't kind of say this is what I performed at the other place. Since the distance is small, there is a possibility that people who attended the other show attended, no, 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 no. are attending here. Yeah, yeah. Let me organize myself. Mm. You understand? Then I think the other thing is, uh, is uh, entertainment has not grown in Uganda. Yeah? yeah. Do, if you, you look at country... Entertainment? Like, um, all of us, music... Music, yeah. But it's growing. Uh, oh, you maybe uh, as in, we the artists are trying to put it up there. Mm. But the funds uh, the funds are not yet there. Mm. We are running at a, t a terrible speed leaving the funds behind. Yeah, maybe you have a big audience than maybe if you're maybe abroad somewhere. Yeah, How but... Uh, you're a Ugandan shooting com comedy at other Ugandans. Yeah, I understand. But again, we have to look at an angle where our own people we are moving with, mm. uh, our own funds, 
are, are also able to move with us. Well, what do I mean? You find that uh, countries like uh, USA, England, that are, are well off, that have are somewhere, you find that a musician can perform across the country for a full year. Mm. Before you realize, he has appeared once in every place. Yeah? It gives that person ample time and, uh, and uh, space to say that, the, f for instance, if he's a comedian, he'll say, I'm going to use this joke, this joke, this joke, this joke, this joke, everywhere I go on my tour. Mm. By the time he comes back, he does not have a reason to redo what he did the other time. Mm. In Uganda, it's about Kampala. Mm. You perform in Kampala, in over 10 places, you a little go out, you go to Entebbe, you go to Jinja, before you realize you're getting another show back here, mm. you can spend, me, I'll give you an example, for all the time I've done comedy, I've not been to the north for comedy. Mm. You understand? Is it because of a uh, language barrier? Oh, I've, I've tried to get bookings, mm. but uh, they've not raised the money I want mm. to go there. So what does it mean? If you move here and there and there and there, and then you come back again there on the same route, before you realize, you don't know what you did where. Yeah. And some jokes come well on your stage. Then maybe you want to take it on to another place. Mm. Yeah. Okay. As a, a comedian, uh, you must have uh, musicians that you love joking about. You know, some musicians are like, I can't help myself. Mm. <laughs> you know, make a joke about this person. Who, who do you have? Who's your favorite? Uh, my favorite is... Uh, uh, Ready and Weasel. <laughs> Go on, give us something or Ready and Weasel. Something. Give us a little something. Um, one of the things I've noticed with them, when they are starting their, most of their songs, yeah. it's usually Radio who starts the, uh, the song. And yeah, at yeah. times, the tone he brings out yeah. is like he's crying. <laughs> okay. And then Weasel comes in as a person too. To save him. To, to save him. Yeah, yeah. Like, please keep quiet. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Do you write your own stuff? I do write my own stuff, and actually, most of the time, um, well, jokes come when I'm on stage. On stage yeah. yeah. So, so you don't pre-plan. Do you don't pre-plan your jokes? Yeah. But when but when the show is going on, um, I can read the audience with the first two comedians that are on stage. Mm -hmm. I can read the audience, know what they want. Yeah. Then um, from there, things just start flowing. Okay. Yeah. Um, as a comedian, yes. uh, do you find that um, uh, being vo you've, you've mentioned being vulgar. Yeah. yeah. Are, are Ugandans ready for like saying fuck this, fuck that, nah, 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 all this really heavy, you know, sort of foul language? Oh, they, oh. oh welcome, are they too conservative? Bichi, bichi, please be nice, see, you know, don't do this, don't do that, you know? Are no. they ready for that? Uh, Ugandans are very much ready for vulgar things. Mm. That's why most comedians, if you look at the comedians that are hitting charts, mm. they're the vulgar ones. When you do a joke that's, that's kind of intellectual, Ugandans are not ready to think. Mm. They don't think. As in, they don't want, they've had a long day. Somebody has had a long day. Somebody has been in meetings. Somebody has been doing, has been working from morning till evening. He's not ready to then start thinking of a joke like you saying, you know, a guy was driving Anna Woody, then a premier came and passed him. So that means he has to think, okay, how, how, what's the speed meter of Anna Woody? <laughs> like 260 and a premier, 120. Uh, this is funny. This is impossible. Yeah. He's not ready for that. Yeah, yeah. That's why they want jokes that are spot on. It has to be funny. If it's not funny, it's vulgar. And what I think what makes them laugh at vulgar jokes is because... They can't believe somebody can make, can utter out a big word of sorts, yeah. a very vulgar word, a word of sorts. Mm -hmm. So at times they don't laugh because it's funny. Mm. They laugh because they can't believe what's going on. Okay. Yeah. But when you do jokes that, um, uh, that involve them, their brains to, uh, to think, you're off it's, the hook. It's not going to work. Exactly. It's so not going to work. So you have to look out for a joke. So you have to keep them in, a, in, in the desire mode, if you know. Yes. So that's why you have to talk about jokes. You have to do jokes about uh, people vibing themselves. Kid may be harassing a parent. Something like that. So that you know, you're like, well, nah, I'm giving it. What is your challenge as a comedian? Uh, my challenge as a comedian is... Uh, we have, uh, we are not respected in this industry. Mm. 
the audience does not respect us. I'll give you an example. Music is something that can be played or can be performed regardless of what you're doing. Mm. Yeah? If Bebe Cool is performing, Chameleon is performing, yeah? If Bobby Wayne is performing, if any musician is performing, and you're on your phone, you can still enjoy whatever is performing. If you're WhatsApping, as long as your eyes are there, if you're eating, whatever you're doing, you'll enjoy the music, you'll enjoy the performance. Comedy, somebody needs all his brain and mindset to listen to you. You go to a function, for instance, a wedding. They've invited you, they've paid you and all that. Then they tell you, ah, uh, your, oh, sorry, sorry, Dolly Bondo has come. Uh, let's look at our program. Before you realize, they paid you earlier on, but they've not even included, included you on the program. Mm. It's like you are a stalker. <laughs> okay. Before you realize, they are finding where to fix you. Mm. At the end of the day, they'll tell you, uh, wait when people are eating, you perform. When people are eating, all their minds are on the food. Mm. They'll never enjoy your comedy. Yeah, so we lack, we lack, uh, we still have that problem. People do not respect us. People take us for granted. You can imagine somebody has paid you, but you go, you go to a function and you're not on the program. What does that mean? So, yeah, so you're saying that here comedians are still not seen as the superstars for exactly, exactly. Okay, so um, okay, now you've taken that bit out. So, what is the good parts of being a comedian? What What do you look and go? You know what? I love my job. Uh, what I look at and, and say I love my job. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many opportunities we get. Uh, you, for instance, you'll go to a bank, yeah, and you'll transact with the with the VIPs, even when you're not a VIP. But just because somebody knows Dolly Bondo, he likes you, mm. he sees, uh, he looks at your account. It's a corporate account, but there is prestige. Then uh, he finds it mean for him to leave you queue up in the line. Yeah. Tell you, please come to this side. <laughs> come to prestige. Yeah, yeah. There are some opportunities we get. Yeah. That really make you feel like, yeah, I've gone, I've gone to a petrol station. Do you get lots of chicks? <laughs> uh, we do, we do, but uh, at times you find a way of uh, ma 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 managing them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was telling you, I've gone to a petrol station, mm. uh, took, uh, took a half tank, then a person just came and parked on the other side and said, Oh, don't even what's up, what's up, yeah, fuel on me, fuel on me, let them do a top up for you. Yeah, they gave me a full tank, yeah, so. If I wasn't a comedian, well, would I have gotten that? We get a lot of opportunities uh, you, you never free know, of charge. You never know. You never yeah, know. Man. You know, Del Mondo, at this moment in, um, t in time, there's a, there must be a comedian. Yeah. Other comedians who, who inspired you to get into comedy anyway? Who, who, uh, who's the comedian that inspired you? Uh, Amot. Amot. Yeah. Because he's been around for a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, at this moment in time, who's, um, what comedian would you say is doing it for you? It's still Amot. Amot. Yeah, Amot is a kind of person. Who will crack a joke out of a moment you, you shouldn't think. Yeah. I'll give you one of the tips of doing comedy. When we are doing comedy, there are three uh, things that are very sensitive. Yeah? Mm. Uh, culture, religion, mm. and uh, death. These are three things you just don't joke around, around with. Mm. You can't do a joke about the kabaka or culture. And you think you can go away with it easily. Mm. You can't do a joke about a religion. And you think you just go away with it. Mm. You can't do a joke about death. And you go away with it. These are things that people are attached to. Mm. But that guy, Amot, can crack a joke out of any scenario. Yeah. And you'll find it funny. Yeah. yeah. And he's a guy who does so. He's a, he's a freestyler. You said you, yeah. you wanted to do you know, music. Yeah. Have a new sort of thought, you know. Let me let Kankoya Kayema and Bayo Kayema see how it goes. Because some comedians, you know, you know, you know, this guy was the American guy. Um, uh, he's an, uh, he was a comedian, then he became an actor. Then Jamie he, Fox. Jamie Fox, yeah, yeah. Jamie, yeah. He's done acting, comedian, singing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, have a new thought of maybe let me come back over Kayema. You know, you know, for now, but I would I love need. to do it, yeah. but I want to do it in a professional way. Mm -hmm. I want to do a joke that has funny lyrics. Non-vulgar li li lyrics. Uh, sorry, a song that funny has a funny. story. Mm. 
Have you heard of the song called uh, I Got High? Yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. Guy has a story that is funny. Mm. Yes, yeah? yeah, that's that's uh, that's the kind of thing I want. I want pro professionalism. Unfortunately, I've not gotten a good writer to write for me a funny joke, because I'm not good at writing mm. songs. I'm not good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, is there anything you wanna ask? We be doing it. We're the baddest. I <laughs> got <laughs> juicy. Juicy, juicy. juicy. Kuba. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Zalbono. Yes, boss. Thank you, boss. Thanks for Thank hosting you. me Thank you for giving on us Pau Cha TV. Thank you. All right. We appreciate it so much. Yeah, man. Everybody. Give